Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you are currently thinking about or connecting with at this time. We're gonna look at what their uh, thoughts or feelings are towards you. What are their intentions towards you? Um, we'll use several oracle decks to kind of get this person's energy for Gemini. In regards to love spirit for Gemini. All right. We're going to look at past, present, future energies, and then your energies as well. So let's get into this. Okay, starting off with the Emperor. Higher font reverse and the Hangman. All major arcana so far. This is your energy. What's going on in the present? Present energies, please, for Gemini. Temperance reverse and lovers reverse. Wow, all major arcanas. There you are, Gemini, showing up to your reading. Interesting. So love isn't going so well. Um, there's something that is has not come together yet. And I feel like it's a, a special union with the lovers. What about them? What about the person that Gemini is dealing with? What are their energies? Four of Swords reverse. Six of Cups reverse. This could be somebody from the past, Gemini. Near future energies, please. For Gemini. The Chariot. More major arcanas. Wow. Okay, I'm going to tell you all this, of the signs on the board right now. We have Aries, Taurus, Sagittarius, Gemini, and Cancer. You could be dealing with someone with that. those signs. It does not have to be those signs. Those are just the signs that happen to be on the board right now. But what's more important is the energy. Um, what I'm seeing here is that um, there's some sort of past situation that is still getting like taken care of or still developing it is not completely done it could have been um there could be frustration impatience why is something taking so long why hasn't it just come together yet i feel like your person is going to take some sort of action regarding a return from the past because the six of cups rever uh, six of cups is a card about coming home nostalgia memories it's reversed someone's stuck in the past and i feel like they've been seriously like that's all they think about right now all they think about is the past now this is your person here this is you gemini but it can be flipped so feel free to flip it if it resonates more but i feel like you're both doing a lot of thinking oh. sorry my little deck fell um both of you are doing a lot of thinking because i have the hangman here and the hangman is reverse, by the way. So, six of cups reverse, four of cups, re uh, four of swords reverse, four of swords reverse is the card about kind of like doing a lot of thinking and then now you're ready to act or feeling restless, like you have to make a move. And that's why the chariot is here. I feel like you're dealing with someone that's an emperor energy, someone that could be wiser or older than you. It could be somebody that's in a position of authority. Um, they could be a parent. Um, I feel like you're dealing with an emperor energy or recently you or this person have decided to take control of the situation. Now for you, Gemini, on your end, I have the higher font reverse with the hangman reverse. So I feel like you have not been able to see something from a different perspective. Um, perhaps you can't give something up. Or it feels like you cannot give this up. And I wonder why. I have the higher font reverse. That's typically that's that can mean two things. Number one, uh, someone has to break a commitment or a commitment is broken. And number two, it could be somebody rebelling against what's expected of them. So let's get some uh, oracles to give us some clarity here. Let's start with the romance angels. 
Spirit, give me some insight into this connection for Gemini. Give me some insight. And when you have a lot of major arcanas like we do here, these are major shifts in energy. These are things that are almost like fated to take place. Give me some insight into this connection for Gemini. That passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. What else for Gemini? Unrequited love. Bottom of the deck, free yourself. You know, I feel like this is a situ unrequited love for me as a reader. It can mean that someone has a fear that you don't feel the same way. Um, it could also be like the Six of Pentacles reverse. This is for me as a reader where um, one person is more in uh, involved or, or invested than the other. And so it creates an imbalance. I feel like this is an imbalance that's happening here. And with free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. That's that emperor energy. So let's get into, let's clarify these and get some more information because I feel like this could go a few ways here, Gemini. Um, also this lover's reverse, this could be that someone has made a choice that they now regret or are needing to make a separate choice here. I'm using this little tiny adorable deck. <laughs> it's the, um, the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot deck, but a mini version. And I love this deck. I use it all the time. The regular size. Give me some clarity. Spirit. Give me some clarity for Gemini. What's going on here? Let's start with the this Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? Where's the Emperor here? Ten of Pentacles reverse with the Four of Pentacles. Again, this idea of someone holding on to something, um, maybe holding back because of a commitment. I have the Ten of Pentacles reverse or because um, there has been a, a lack of stability in their life. And so now they're trying to get things like get their ducks in a row, save money. Um, I have the Five of Wands reversed, so it could be that they are tired of the fighting and there's a Temperance card reversed again. This person has had a situation in their life or are going through a situation right now that's kind of maybe rocked the boat for them. And so now they're stepping into this Emperor energy to, to kind of um, get the control back that they've lost. And this could be you or your person, Gemini. You could be dealing with an Aries, does not have to be. Tell me about um, Temperance Reverse. Why is Temperance Reverse with the Lover's Reverse? Why is Temperance Reverse with the Lover's Reverse? Page of Pentacles Reverse. Why is Temperance Reverse with the Lover's Reverse? These cards are so cute. Two of Pentacles reverse again with like that lack of balance, um, an offer that hasn't come in, a situation where someone has to make a different choice. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Two of Pentacles reverse? King of Pentacles. This person, I feel, is the person you're dealing with. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. I have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. Someone here is stepping into this energy. There, there's someone I feel like, um, it's like in the midst of chaos, they are stepping into an energy where they can handle this. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles reverse. This could have something to do with money. I have all these Pentacles here. Why is the Two of Pentacles reverse? Let me move this out of the way. The Two of Pentacles reverse. Judgment reversed. Wow. And then the Four of Wands reversed. There's something that's not, it's not steady. Someone made a mistake. This, this lover's reversed with the judgment card reverse. Someone, their judgment call, whatever happened, they made a mistake. That's why the Knight of Cups was there. 
They could be wanting to come to apologize to you or they're dealing with a mistake that they made in the past. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed? Yep, Three of Swords. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed? Now we have the Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles reverse. This could be financial. But this I feel is like a missed opportunity that has led to pain or perhaps someone um, has a lot of delays. Something's not coming together because of finances and it's very difficult. Three of Cups. Three of Cups, Three of Swords. There could be somebody else here. And I have the Page of Wands. So this could be somebody that comes in to speak to you wants to come together maybe have some sort of reunion with you but they can't give you something right now because right now they're dealing with something and it could be affecting their finances or their stability so let's get some more insight into both of your energies using my uh, stellar energy oracle deck this is excuse me linked down below in the description box if you're curious Tell me about the energies for Gemini and this other person. Gemini, remember that this could be a reverse, but it will not resonate with everyone. Tell me more about Gemini's energies, please. What are Gemini's energies in this connection? I feel like someone, it's almost like this, um, this energy I'm picking up of someone feeling like they're the only ones that have hung on to this connection. I don't think that's true. Tell me about Gemini's energy. Mirrored souls. You mirror each other in this special connection. Exactly. I feel like someone feels that the other person doesn't feel the same way, but you're mirroring each other and it's like you don't know it. This is a soulmate energy here. Tell me about Gemini's person. Spirit, tell me about Gemini's person. What are their energies? at this time time out timing patience waiting time is of the essence so this is that um, temperance card reversed I feel like your person uh, they feel like time is running out or something like that um, maybe things are delayed for them and they're in a waiting mode I have happy ending at the bottom of the deck here so very similar to the ten of cups abundance joy fulfillment you have achieved absolute happiness and fulfillment i feel like this person you know there's like um they're trying to get something done <laughs> i just keep getting that message um let's clarify your energies here tell me about the hierophant reverse with the hangman reverse why are these two energies here the hierophant reverse with the hangman reverse tell me more these two energies. Well, I got three. Okay, we got the four of wands reversed. We have the five of swords reversed. Eight of swords reversed. Bottom of the deck, the knight of pentacles reversed. I think you and this person, it didn't end the way that you wanted it to end. I feel like this did end at some point in the past because you're both stuck on the past so that's why i'm thinking that something happened between you um there's a lack of harmony here or you feel that there's a lack of harmony of balance it could also be that this person has to leave a home a home situation in order to reconcile with you tell me more about the higher font reverse because the higher font reverse with the four of wands reverse that's like someone leaving a commitment or a relationship leaving like moving out tell me more about the higher font reverse with the hangman reverse please there's the higher font yeah i feel like you're dealing with someone that's in a commitment or you are in a commitment gemini and someone has to break free of this commitment and you know it for some reason you know this Tell me about the Four of Swords reverse with the Six of Cups reverse. For Gemini, tell me about the Four of Swords reverse. Seven of Cups reverse. For Gemini. 
Justice. Queen of Wands at the bottom. This person um, with the Seven of Cups reversed. Uh, I feel like either they're they're in a legal situation with a justice card, Libra energy here, uh, where perhaps they feel like they don't have as many options. I don't know why I'm getting that because that's not what that card gets. But that, that's not what that card essentially means, but that's the message I'm getting. Someone feels like they don't have a lot of options, like time is running out for them to make a different choice. Um, I'm also getting like someone wants to make things right, but they have no idea how to do this. There's the chariot again. You want to make some sort of move here, move forward, come visit you possibly. Because the, the near future energy is some sort of movement here, travel. Tell me more about the Four of Swords reverse. Actually, no. Tell me about justice. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune just fell out. It's like they're waiting for an opportunity to make things right. But maybe they're not telling you this. High Priestess at the bottom. Someone could be guided by their intuition. This person could be guided by their intuition because these two cards are spiritual cards for me. The Wheel of Fortune and the High Priestess. Or not spiritual cards in the sense like this is spirit. But I feel like spirit is the one that speaks to us, to, to, to our intuition um, there's secret knowledge, psychic knowledge here with the High Priestess. And then the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing. This is about luck being on your side. This is about uh, serendipity. This is things happening as if by magic. I feel like someone's hoping for things to work out for them. But again, time. There's an issue here with time. Tell me about the chariot. This is what's going to happen in the near future here. Why is the chariot here? Oh my god, we got the chariot again. I feel like this is this is the message, obviously. Tell me more about the chariot. Let me get one more start. Nine of Wands, reverse. I just shuffled and there you are, Gemini, the lovers. With the Queen of Wands. This person loves you. This person, I feel like they're drawn to you. Tell me about, tell me about the chariot, please. I'm going to get some secret moon oracles here to help me out too and get some sort of insight into this person, but... I feel like this person, it's its like they want to come to you. Tell me about the chariot. Yeah, wow, okay. Strength with the tower reverse. Leo energy with strength card. A lot of major arcanas. Once again, this, this reading is full of major arcanas, major shifts in energy. There's something taking place. I feel like your person, it's like once a tower falls, they're going to come to you. They're trying to be strong. They're, they're, this might require courage. I feel like this tower was very difficult for them. With strength and the nine of wands reverse. They had to be very strong. But they're ready to move forward. I'm going to use my secret moon oracle deck. This is also available. Listed down below. Tell me more about what this person is secretly thinking or feeling about Gemini. What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Gemini spirit? We need to talk. Yeah. And I'm taking action. Yeah. This is somebody who, bottom of the deck, I feel trapped. I feel like that's why the Eight of Swords is reversed here. This person is like, they're coming, they're literally traveling or getting in a car or texting you or something saying, I'm coming over something like that because they want to talk things out or they probably need a friend or something like that and i will see you all in another video very soon take care